Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to have a little go at doing something that we've never done before. Today, we are going to go on a doodle adventure. And by that, I mean I'm going to make up a story off the top of my own head. Um, and we're going to doodle that out. And just uh, hopefully it'll create some relaxing vibes for you to chill out to. Um, along the way, I'm also going to be drinking some Wild Cherry Fanta, which uh, you don't get much in the UK. So if any American listeners uh, have a way of hooking me up with a lifetime supply of this uh, at the cost of absolutely zero money, that would be Fantastic. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, I have quite a few pens here. That came out of a lovely Harry Potter pencil case. So those are some, these are some, just some very cheap um, supermarket brand felt tip pen. I also have at my disposal some ooh, higher quality felt tip pens. Vivid, vivid highlighters. Just before we start, let's have a little look. At what the vivid highlighters look like. Oh, I'm, I'm, I've lost my uh, black clipboard. So I am currently using a bright pink clipboard, as you can see. Let's just have a little look. What should we draw? Let's let's try and draw. Let's get the highlighters out. Let's, let's try and draw a kind of cherry factor. So. Yes, this sort of red colour would be uh, most appropriate. use some blue to give us the the letters so got use the broad side do not have to be perfect here so we've got the got the f oh that one's very very highlighty i got the got the e which looks a bit like 
that. And then we've got very nicely stylized N. So, and the T is almost sort of dancing around the N. Finally, another A on the end. Uh, after that, which thing do we have? green leaf just coming off top there now obviously this is all a highlighter so it doesn't have to be perfect and nothing has to be perfect we're here for a a nice time, a very relaxing video. Let's see, let's obviously orange isn't the prominent colour of cherries. If you have orange cherries, you uh, might want to get the, get the cherry doctor in, but I'll just gently. Testing the colours of the highlighters. We have a little bit of green here as the Cherry stock, some leaves on top, and just to have we used all the colours? No, we haven't used your uh, textbook yellow highlighter. Uh, where there's, there's nothing on there that is yellow, but that's okay. Cherries aren't orange either. So we'll just write um, one four zero calories, uh, which somehow I'm not one hundred percent believing. But there you go. Um, okay, so that's what all the highlighters look like. Very nice colours in there. So let's take that, put that back there, and uh, let's start again. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go today uh, on a little doodle adventure. So I'm going to use the black felt tip pen. Uh, all adventures need a hero. So let's make one. Let's, uh, let's draw a wee guy. So down here. There's a wee guy's wee head. Uh, there's a wee guy's body. He doesn't have a neck. Um, as you can see, uh, he's also like the guy who made him, uh, had a bit of a, a weight gain during the old, the old lockdown. Going to give him hideously bow legs and of course feet that don't make any sense. Um, he's gonna have one arm, a little circle hand, he's making a fist with that arm, and uh, 
In this hand, let's see, he's uh, he's holding, oh, I think he'll definitely be holding a sword. Nice big sword, like that. He doesn't have any facial features yet, so let's change that. He's got one eye, another eye, and he's got he's got a sword in one hand and a bald fist in the other one. So let's not give him a a big old smile. Is, um, he'll get a big old smile, presumably, at the, at the end of his adventure. So let's just give him a sort of protagonist line, I would call it. And as a ginger man myself, I'm constantly let down by the lack of ginger protagonists in stories so let's give him a nice head spiky ginger hair and his name is Brian so this is Brian let's just write his name so I don't forget it This is Brian. And Brian grew up in a village. And the village sat on top of a hill. And all the houses were made of wood. One wee house. There's another wee house. That one's Brian's house. This is another wee house. This house, as you can see, belongs to a very thin family. is very, the door is very small and they have it's called a thatched roof which is like a, like hay on your roof just just like that Like I said, the Brian and his fellow villagers, they, they lived on the top 
of a help here. One day, Brian was just chilling out in his house, just here, and uh, he noticed something peculiar, and that was that on the hill, behind their houses was the mayor's house. And the mayor very rarely left his house, only for political engagements or when it came to election time and he'd come and he's yeah, like a, a standard career politician, he would uh, make favours and etc and kiss babies and uh, you know make sure everybody Make sure he listened to what everyone wanted, and occasionally he would uh, enact these measures. You know, he, he's, a, he's a human being. You know, he's, he has flaws, maybe more flaws than, than a lot of other people, but he, ha he has flaws. So one day they noticed that the mayor had uh, left his house, and he was uh, the mayor has. Mayor always wears a purple top hat, like that. And Brian and his friend George and his other friend Seamus. That's George's house, that's Seamus's house now. They they were out having a having a nice barbecue. Um you know, there's kind of smoke. This is this is where the, the barbecue was. Barbecue's got three legs, don't they? Barbecue and the having a having a lovely barbecue. They're roasting. They're making some nice, uh, nice hamburgers. And uh, they, they, they noticed the mayor coming down. They think, oh. That's interesting. I wonder, I wonder what he wants. And uh, it, it takes about sort of fifteen minutes to to get from the mayor's house to to the the house of the of the proletariat. And uh, in that time, they, they whack on a, a couple of extra cheeseburgers, so that the mayor will have something to eat. You know, when he when he arrives. So. So eventually, the mayor arrives. The mayor's email looks like this. Mayor's quite a quite a short guy. He's quite 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 a round guy. Uh, you know, doesn't he get out a lot? And he's, uh, he's, his arms are sort of are down the way. He's get he's only get wee legs. And uh, he's got his 
famous. Purple top hat. Now he's actually been wearing the purple top hat since even before he was elected mayor. He's actually called Mayor Top Hat. His real name is Gary. But you know the kind of thing like when you become known for a, a, an accessory. So he thought I'll lean into it because that's what people know me as. Is, is Gary Top Hat. So I'm going to become Mayor Top Hat. And he, uh, and he always, he always wears a tie in purple. Just a. And the mayor, he's, he's got a big smile on his face, as always. Mayor. And he comes to, he comes to the hilltop. And he says to, to Brian and uh, Seamus. And their other friend, whose name escapes me at this point. He says, guys. You've adventured for us in the past, for the good of the village. And once again, we need you to to go on, on, on an adventure for us. Brian says, okay, that's fine. It'll be the usual fee. Plus... An extra 15% on the top for the fact of it's outside sociable hours, you know. Me and my, my pals, Seamus and I want to say Gordon, are having a nice barbecue and we're not bothering anybody. So I want you to put that extra fee on the top. And the mayor says, look, Brian. I'm going to stop you there. For one reason and one reason only. You know that this village is famous, famous for its thatched rooftops. And thatched rooftops are made of hay, they're made of grass. Which means they're very flammable. And I know that you know this because I've been on your case in the past about it, but it's illegal to have barbecues in this area and Seamus so at this point he, Seamus looks a bit looks a bit down because he was in, he, he's like if he, if he was a bit annoyed by this Brian says right okay fine I'll tell you what just pay us the, the normal fee and, and, and the mayor says that's great. I'll overlook that. So there's no, there's no, there's no fire. There's no, no barbecue. It's fine. So what, what have you got in mind? For me and and Seamus, Seamus looks like this. Uh, Seamus. No, that's Seamus. Uh, Seamus is like a, he's got a square head. Call him Seamus Square Heat, right? He's got a sort of, he's got a normal neck, he's got a sort of square body, like that, right? 
He's got uh, square arms. He's got a big square for his hands, right? Like that. He's got square legs. Square feet. Um, and he's got square eyes. He's got a square mouth because Seamus is a robot that um that Brian built. Um and he's a uh, he's very he's very shiny. And we're we're gonna depict that with a light blue. Just so he's got little little highlights. Anyway, just because obviously I realised how much this is ripping off the the main plot of Futurama with a red-headed protagonist and his friend who's a, a robot. Let's just get my wee antenna on top of there. That's Seamus. And uh, the the mayor, mayor Gary says we're, we're having a bit of a bit of a problem, and uh, I don't want to I don't want to tell too many people about it. But you know that you know that you know the hill, the the big hill, off in the background. So they, they turn around and uh, they see the the big hill, the big the big hills. So big. That it actually has snow on the top. Looks like that. Brian says, "Yeah, I've not, I've, you know, I've not really been up there for for a, for a while, but yeah, what, what, what's what's uh, what's up?" Then the mayor says to him, "There's a there's a yeti at the at the top of the hill, and uh, he hasn't paid his council tax." Brian says that's that's not fair. That's that. You know, that's what that's that's the pot that pays for everybody. And I, and the mayor says, well, we've sent him a, f a few letters, and uh, and he's you know he's not got back to us. And um, I just I'm, I, it's not it's not so much Brian that I want you to. To go there and, and, and claim the council tax off because that's that's not your job, right? That's it's unfair to ask a you know a, a private citizen to, 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 to go and reclaim money for the for the government. But uh, I I need you to go and just uh, I want you to, to just go and, and sort of make sure he's he's all right. Seamus chimes in. I've never, I've never been up that mountain. Brian, Brian only made me. What six months ago? I'm only six months old. And I've, I've always really fancied going up that mountain. So I'd, I'd love if, if you know, if I could come with you. So Brian says, right, 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 let's do it, let's do it, we'll sleep on it tonight, and we'll, uh, in, in the morning we'll, we'll crack on, crack on, crack on up the mountain, and that leads to 
ladies and gentlemen, was part one of the Doodle Adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a, a bit more of a an experimental uh, ASMR video. If you enjoyed it, obviously let me know. Um, like, subscribe. I've got a Patreon if you ever want to make you know chuck in a couple bucks or whatever. Um, but other than that, uh, I wish you know love, peace, and happiness to you all. And especially to anyone that can send me uh, cans of wild cherry Fanta. Thanks again, guys. Goodbye.